with featured twirlers Alexis Abraham, Courtney Gleason, Angela Lawrence, Allison Merkel, and Kelly Peter. My name is Ben Trubach. I'm the Secretary Treasurer of the University of Cincinnati Bearcat Bands. The Secretary part also encompasses a lot to do with communication, um, not just the communication that happens within the minutes um, of all of our meetings, but also how those minutes and what the things that are covered in those meetings, how that gets communicated out to the band. The newsletter kind of was my brainchild as to how can we expand our current communication, um, make it one interesting and appealing, um, to really encourage people to read it all the way through, and then a lot went into determining you know, what goes into the newsletter each week, how to keep it from being too wordy that no one would read, versus uh, too short that not enough information gets put across. The most important part is right in the top center of each newsletter, the, the first main part of the body, we had, a, we had a header image, and then right into the body was important upcoming dates, um, and that was again compiling all of those emails, um, announcements, uh, things from the council meeting. Um, I would go through there and just pick out uh, dates, dates and times chronologically, they'd get put in huge bold type. Uh, and they would be bullet pointed uh, in order right at the top of the newsletter. So that that was probably our our biggest thing, and then everything else from there. The kind of general announcements, uh, you know, things that we were announced every week. Keep uh, wipe your shoes when you come into the band room. Things like that. Um, they would get pushed down towards the bottom of the newsletter in smaller set type, just kind of bunched together as kind of general reminders. Um, so that way, of course. It's all based around where am I going to lose the reader's interest. Um, ideally, if I had done my job with designing the newsletter properly, the header image would be interesting and compelling, it would draw them in. Um, the nice vertical flow of the newsletter would get them to kind of stumble from one article to the next. They would see one picture, they would read, and then that would kind of easily fall into the next thing. Um, just like those bullet points, while you don't really smoothly flow between bullet points, it's contrary to how bullet points work. Um, they were important to the extent that I needed to get them up at the top um, so that anyone who even opened the email, that was the first thing that they saw. Hi, my name is Elin Roussel and I work in the office for the Bearcat Bands. I basically answer phone calls and emails from students and also interested students who are coming in, and parents, or anybody who has questions about the university. I would say I do a lot with joining forms. Um, students who want to come in, I schedule auditions, and I help them set up their auditions, answer emails for students who were absent for rehearsals, things like that. I would say the most common question is how do I set up an audition? Um, we get those all year. So people who are current students who just didn't join at the beginning of the year and they want to join late, um, how do they sign up? And then students who are high school seniors and want to come into the band, how do they go about auditioning? Um, I get some questions from parents, like do we have scholarships available? Of course we do. Um, some parents want to come for a visit, so I'm happy to set those up for them. Um, internal questions for like, students that are already here would be, you know, what do I do if I don't have marching shoes, or what do I do if I have to miss this rehearsal? So, um, going over those processes with them. I'm Nicole Price. I'm the public relations coordinator for the Bearcat Bands, and basically what I do is I promote and maintain the image of the Bearcat Bands to the public. Um, and that includes social media, um, recruitment, you know, any sort of thing like that. It depends on what the audience is. Uh, we, when we're talking about students, we'll often use email, um, posters, Twitter, and Facebook primarily are our main outlets. Um, but when we're talking about alumni or older members, we will send them personal letters or emails. Um, so it really depends on who we're talking to. It can vary, but prim our primary sources are Facebook and Twitter. We primarily 
highlight the members of the band. Um, for example, right now we're doing senior spotlight posts um, where we highlight those graduating members of the Bearcat bands. Um, and so we'll share those. We'll try to get people to come out to events. Um, anything uh, having to do with organizations that we're close with, such as Rally Cats, will promote their things as well. Um, pretty much anything that will benefit us or um, the organizations or community that we're within. Typically Twitter, um, mostly because it's one of those things where, unlike with Facebook, where if you send out more than one Facebook post, you tend to get some annoyances. Um, you can send out multiple tweets during the day, and you can have conversations with people, so it's a lot more intimate. Um, and so with Twitter, we get a lot more response. Um, a lot of people have the posts that we get to go to their phone, so once they see it, they'll reply back to us. And it's really cool because we get to talk to a lot of different people. The, um, the programming for the marching band has a lot to do with the audiences that we play for. Um, they're really wide. They'll range anywhere from teenagers and younger to people who are in their 60s and 70s who actually pay the bill. <laughs> There's a, a lot of concern that they're entertaining. I know that group audiences have an attention span of about 20 seconds and so you have to design a show that will create impacts both high and low that can be soft or loud or interest points um, at least three of them a minute. Uh, some people see the style of the band as the quality of the band and that's not necessarily so. Uh, styles of the band can be what is it's actually a military style that's currently um, called core style or drum core style or they can be collegiate style uh, that would be a very high step a lot of fast music the chord structure of those style, styles of show is everything is on the beat and it sounds a little bit powerful it stales very fast because the variety of things you do um, isn't that isn't that complete so the literature itself can be from any genre this year we picked symphonic music uh, last year, we picked um, the music of Chuck Maggion, which is essentially Latin in nature. Uh, some years, we will pick patriotic music. So we'll pick a theme that we kind of rotate through a dozen or more different themes and do music in that style. Then we'll look for things that are easy to manipulate in terms of high and low audience response. It really comes down to the entertainment value. We have a traditional pre-game show that, where we render all of the college fight songs, the alma mater, the national anthem. Um, that show has to be learned new each year. Uh, if you did an analysis of the last 10 years, while it may look the same, where we make a block, we expand the block, we make a seapaw, we've currently added a rotation to play to both sides of the field, that is a complete show in itself. We do a band day show, which allows us to take on a, about a thousand high school kids and come in and play with the band. There's not a whole lot of marching that goes with that, but we will pick very much a theme show. Then we have our main show, which is pretty much to advertise this is our capabilities. If we were a competing band, that would be our competing show. That is the one that we spend the most time on. It's pretty much our A game. The final show we do is a student-oriented show, usually accounting for current pop music or things that the students like. Um, it's got a couple of more gimmicks in it, but that one is pretty well dictated by uh, what student interests are of that time. But that ends up being the fourth show.